Hi, this is Needlepointers.com. This is our second video in our videos about the IQQuilt Go system of fabric cutters. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how versatile strip cutters can be when using your IQQuilt Go cutting system. Strip cutters were the first new dies that I purchased after getting my IQQuilt Go big cutter. And as you can see here, I've purchased four dies. I have a one and a half inch, a two and a half inch, a five inch, and a six and a half inch. And these are the cut size of the of each of the strips. So you would take a half inch off on each one, and that would be the finished size of the strips. The reason I purchased the strip cutters as my first dies was because of the versatility of these dies. These dies can use be used to cut strips for borders and bindings. So the two and a half inch strip cutter here is perfect for your bindings if you like a two and a half inch binding like I do. You can also use, after you cut the strips, you can subcut the strips into either squares or diamonds. As you can see, the dies have these diagonal lines printed on them this makes them perfect for cutting different diamond shapes, such as tumbling block diamonds with the 60 degree guide, or with the 45 degree guide, you can cut diamonds for use in a Lone Star quilt block. When you're purchasing your first die in this size die, uh, strip die, don't forget to purchase your cutting mat. The cutting mats don't come with each die because you use the same you can use the same cutting mat for all four of these dies it's the same size so you buy one set of cutting mats which comes in a two pack and then for you can use it on all the different dies so i'd like to show you how i can cut some strips quick and easy and then also cut some of the squares and diamond shapes and how quick and easy they are to cut if after watching this video, you decide that you would like to either purchase an AccuQuilt Go cutting system or any of these strip dies, please visit our website through the link in the iCard or in the description of the video. On our website, we will have links to AccuQuilt's website where you can purchase these items and more information on these strip dies and pictures. I'd like to say that AccuQuilt did not ask us to make these videos and we, we've we just purchased this on our own and just wanted to share it with you because we're real, we really like this product and think it would be helpful for pretty much any quilter. But Needlepointers.com is an AccuQuilt affiliate so if you purchase AccuQuilt products through our links on our website, then we will earn a small commission for the sale. The products do not cost you any more. We just earn a small commission for referring you to AccuQuilt. Also, AccuQuilt does run sales almost all the time. There's some sort of sale running. And if you would like to see what kind of sale is running, make sure you visit our website and either go to the page associated with this video or on our home page and at near the end of our home, bottom of our home page you will see a link to AccuQuilt and it will tell you what sale is running at that time and if you click that link it, it gives us the commission so we'd like to thank you in advance if you do decide to make a purchase of an AccuQuilt system or dies we really appreciate all the support that you give to us and this is a great way for you to support us and so we can afford to keep making more videos like this. For this demo, I'm going to be showing you my two and a half inch strip die. Now, the, the things I do with this two and a half inch strip die can be done with any of the other dies. They're just gonna cut different width strips, which in turn will make different size squares or, or diamonds. If you just want strips for your borders or your bindings, you just cut them the first time and they're done. 
when you're putting your fabric on the die, the selvage should be running along this axis of the die, if possible. This just makes it um, better for cutting. The instructions that come with the dies say to put the fabric this direction if possible. I think it because of the way that the fabrics stretch, it causes less distortion of the fabric while it's going through the cutter. When you're laying the fabric across, you can cut up to six layers of quilter's cotton type of fabric. And I'm, I cut this the width, uh, close to the width of the die because I'm going to be cutting squares. If you want width of fabric, like strips for, like, say, your bindings, you would fold the fabric and put it this way. You would put it this way across so that you can get the longer strips out and contiguous so you would get one long strip that's with a fabric. I am looking to cut, end up cutting squares eventually so I am going to cut some strips this direction and fold my fabric over so that I can get four layers at once and I'm making sure that I have my fabric going beyond to the cutting lines on each side here and if my fabric is wide enough I can even fold it back again and I will get a couple uh, more another strip there. Once you have this the fabric laid down cover it with your cutting mat carefully so it doesn't move the fabric and we'll send it through the cutter. And as I've said before, you just get it started going through the cutter and it feeds itself. So here it came through and I slide off to the side. That's just to keep the static from causing the fabrics to lift up. And so this was my extra strip from the end where I folded over. And here I have cut. 14 layers, or 14 strips, have all been cut in one pass. And wasn't that fast? It's like so super fast. I, it's unbelievable to me. So if I want to cut, I'm going to use these to show a few different techniques of subcutting. So if I want to get two and a half inch squares, I can lay these along the 90 degree line and again I just want to have it extending a little bit over the where the cutting line is so we don't we don't want to waste too much fabric and I can fold it this way and you have to carefully fold them fold the fabric so then I'm going to lay a second strip here next to it and make sure they don't overlap or there's not no gaps. And the nice thing about cutting with these strip cutters is how precise it is. When you're cutting by hand, you can easily mess up and end up cutting the wrong size, right? I know I've done that so many times and then that fabric is wasted or it has to be put aside you know, and use for a different project or something, or his scraps. Here, I know for sure that every time it cuts, it's going to cut two and a half inches. 
So I'll go with those three next to each other. Lay this on top. <clears throat> and then send it through. All right, let's see how these came out. Got a little bit of static electricity going on here. But as you can see, I have a whole stack of two and a half inch blocks in this fabric. And there was very little waste when using this these strip cutters. So now if you're going to cut the triangles, I can put one along this 45 degree line. And again, I can layer up to six layers here. These are the 45 degree diamonds that can be used for Lone Star quilt blocks and I'm sure other blocks too. And you know one passed through and I got six with just a small amount of leftovers. And let's try these 60 degrees. And here you go, a whole bunch of diamonds that can be used for tumbling blocks. I hope you enjoyed learning how versatile the AccuQuilt Go strip cutters are and the different things you can cut from it, strips, di diamonds, and squares. If you have any questions or comments on this video, please add them below. We do respond to questions in the comments. Like and share our videos, and if you are not a subscriber, subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any future videos. Help us spread our videos by sharing them with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Instagram. Visit our website, needlepointers.com, for lots of other quilting tutorials and free projects. While you are there, sign up for our free weekly newsletter to keep up with us.